Hey guys, welcome to my channel for another high level tips, tricks, tutorials, and high level stories. Most people think that the reason why they're getting rejected for E2P was actually because of the information they submitted. And most people don't know that the reason why that's happening is because the website URL that you have submitted is actually not compliant. Yes, that's correct. In order for you to get approved for E2P, you need to make sure that you have a compliant website. That's because the campaign registry or people behind that A2P approval is manually checking your website for compliance and there are a couple of things that they would need to verify and look for to see whether they will get your campaign approved for the A2P or in order for them to approve you to send marketing text message obviously this is to prevent spamming etc so they need to see that you do have a verifiable business website and that your business is actually active the first thing is they will need to make sure that your website includes your business information this is an example website if your business registration says palmera ventures incorporated then you have to make sure that number one your domain name matches exactly your registration if you do have a dba for example if it's just palmera ventures or palmera different from your actual registered business then you can actually use a dba for as long as that appears in your articles for organizations if i'm using the company name jt virtual assistance llc but then i want to use the domain jtva then i need to make sure that my business registration says here DBA, JTVA, I can use that domain name. If it's not, then unfortunately you cannot use that. If your business name is JT Virtual Assistance LLC, then you have to use a domain jtvirtualassistance.com to make sure that you can actually get approved. The second thing that they will be looking at is your business information. So this means that your logo needs to be there, your company information needs to be in your website. So they can verify exactly what you do. It's important for them to know what your business is all about so they can allow or disallow for you to send bulk sms inside of high level you have to make sure that it has your business name your contact information is clearly displayed so what i would normally tell people is to have the about us page and at the same time to have the contact us information page that has your business information including the address the email and the phone number of your business as well so they know that your customer have something to dial if they need some assistance number two they will be also checking if your website is functioning this needs to be a live website before you submit your e2p we've talked about the domain and they will also be looking at legal cases and compliance in your website they need to see that you have privacy policy in terms of conditions most people have that in their page but it routes to a 404 page that gets them really rejected so you have to make sure that that is working and it has all that compliance wording that is required please take note that this document that i am sharing inside of the description field in case you don't have a disclaimers or privacy policy page you can go to the last page of this document copy and paste the actual disclaimer or privacy policy here inside of your website i have a copy already copy and paste document that you can put into your website for that specific pages that they're looking for the consent and opt-in forms this form needs to have the disclaimer or the approved disclaimer wording that tells the customer how exactly you are processing their information when they submit their information to your business you also have to make sure that that has all these wordings they have to make sure that you have this message and data rates may apply how frequent you're going to be sending this message. you need to make sure the phone and email whatever you're collecting phone number and email you need to make sure that that is a not a required field because if it's a required field then they will automatically reject your application because you have to give your customers an opportunity not to submit any of the information that they don't want to finally your form needs to have the privacy policy and terms of service that is again routing to your page for privacy policy in terms of 404 these are the most critical and these are some of the things that most people who submit a2p miss and they're wondering why is my a2p got rejected and that's all because of the website url that has been submitted that's not compliance your business name needs to be in there about us page needs to be in there your contact information that needs to be in there an up inform needs to be in there to make sure that you're up informed also has the disclaimers that are required and that you have to make sure that your website is live and is working 
that's it to make sure that you get approved for A2P. I hope that you guys don't miss this. You can get your A2P approved in less than 24 hours. For more information, please follow me on this YouTube channel, CC Tan High Level. For more tips, tutorials, hiring, training, anything about High Level, you can follow me and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Again, my name is CC. You have a good day.